to this news, courtesy of Sky Sports News. Kylian Mbappe, PSG forward, signs a new contract with League on Champions, but Le Liga is set to file a complaint, which is hilarious. But the the transfer news, second only maybe to Haaland. Haaland was, you know, the one everyone was waiting for. Where's Haaland going to go after Dortmund? He then decided to go to Man City. And if you believe the stories out there, he actually rejected Real Madrid. So Real Madrid were, uh, were not only trying to sign Haaland, they were also trying to sign Mbappe in the same window. The same Real Madrid who have already won the league. No, sorry, won the year. Who have already won the league, right? They're on course to maybe, hopefully, win the Champions League. I hope they do against Liverpool, and they're still going to sign, they still wanted to sign, sorry, Kylian Mbappe and Haaland. That goes to show you the levels that we're trying to operate at, Man United, how far away we are from these clubs. We didn't sign anybody in January. We we were okay with the club and squad that we had, thinking we were going to get top four by just getting Ralph Ragnick in, who hadn't managed a club in however many years. And with all the limitations that surround him in terms of the structure and the players he has available and the pressures of playing certain people. Man, anyway, we continue. So Mbappe is now signed for, re-signed for PSG. First of all, as a fan of football, it's pretty underwhelming. He is one of the hottest talents in world football, an incredibly exciting striker to watch. Some people would say he's a bit of a one-trick pony and that he only has pace. But I think in the last couple of years, he's really improved his all-round game. The way he can stretch the pitch and playing on the wings, his assist, um, his, close, his close touch and control. Like, I think those are things he's really improved over the years and could be improved as he keeps progressing, hopefully with better coaches coming into clubs at PSG. But we would like to see players like this test themselves on the highest level in different leagues and different competitions. This is why I think people like Cristiano Ronaldo should be put, small credit should be put on his name. And as much as people would say, you know, if you want to pick between Messi and Ronaldo, maybe I would always go for Messi because he's the most naturally gifted player people have seen in a very long time. And he clearly makes, you know, football look just amazing when he's playing it, especially at the speed that he's playing it at. But in terms of somebody who has, you know, I would say, created themselves in the same in the same vein as like a, this is a bad example, but in the same vein as like a Frank Lampard, right? Who started off somebody being, you know, ridiculed for being fat Frank, somebody who everyone thought he was only in the West Ham team because of nepotism. And then he suddenly progressed and trained himself and honed his craft into being the player that he ended up being at Chelsea. And then for a little spell at Man City, which is, you know, heinous to say the least, but yeah, we continue. Ronaldo did the same thing, created himself into being the, one of the world's best players in the world. Ballon d'Or winning player, you know what I mean? Great player. Broken all these goal-scoring records. But one of the main things I think that separates Ronaldo from some of his peers, especially Messi included, is that at the height of his, uh, of his powers at Man, Man United, I would say the best version of Ronaldo was obviously at Man United, especially him playing on the wings, playing centre forward, you know, playing as an attacking midfielder, whatever he was doing was incredible to see. But he went and tested himself in Real Madrid, in Juventus, and then back again to Man United, like at the highest level. And every time people would criticise him or would ask questions of him, if he's too old, whatever it may be, he always delivered. And I think overall, it's probably made him a better player, maybe extended his career longer than probably it would have if he stayed at one league in one competition. The fact that he's been able to go to different countries, have different demands on his body, different demands on his football acumen, this is all important. And I think to see Kylian Mbappe just waste, I think, his best years at PSG is a bit lame because we've all watched Ligue 1. Ligue 1 isn't a great league. It might be fast, it might be physical, but quality-wise, it's nowhere near the other top leagues in Europe. So even though he might get some good games out of Lille, he might get some good games out of Marseille, he might get some good games out of flipping um, Olympic Lyon, like there might be some good games here and there, but for the majority of the time, they're going to be whitewashing the entire league, flat track bully style. So, I mean, it's a bit of a shame that way. But on the other end, as a professional, it's an incredible deal, according to Sport Bible. Kid Mbappe's reported contract at PSG. He's getting a 300 million euro signing bonus. So already, you know why he signed there. If you believe the reports online, though, they tell you that the Madrid offer was exactly the same, almost identical. So maybe some things were, numbers were maybe lower here and there, but around the same ballpark. So if I, if it was me, I would say Kylian Mbappe being the marquee player that he is, the fact that he's bilingual, speaks English, um, speaks French. I'm pr pretty sure he probably got a bit of Spanish and Italian in him, too, in him too. He's got the look, he's got all the sponsors, he scores his great goals, he plays for PSG. He's not going to ever be lacking for money, in my opinion. 
So it really wouldn't be a money decision. I would think so. But then when you're talking about 300 million signing on bonus, that's the kind of money that's going to set up your generation and generation, generation, generation of children for life, especially if you invest it the right way. That is life, that is kind of generational altering money. So that makes sense in that regard. If you picked it basically on my, if your decision was made solely based on money alone, 300 million signing on bonus makes sense. Then on top of that, his salary is 100 million euros a year after tax, which again is insane because that would mean the weekly wage is going to be something nuts, right? Maybe a million a week or whatever, something crazy. But then the other three points I think are incredibly incredibly redacted and would probably end up shooting PSG in the foot and blowing up in their face. Number one, he will help decide the coach. Number two, he will have a say on the sporting director. And then number three, he can approve signing and sales. An absolutely insane decision to put that much power in a player. It's insane, especially for stuff that happens around the coaching style of stuff and stuff that happens in the boardroom level. It doesn't make any sense. Player power is already something that a lot of clubs have to really su are, are struggling with, especially for the players that earn a lot of money and break the wage structure and have very influential agents who maybe air your laundry out in public and make you look a certain way and bloody blah, 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 blah. Surely putting this much power in the hands of such a young player who I think has an overinflated sense of ego, in my opinion, but that remains to be seen. And I think he kind of, you know, uses this kind of humble personality thing. But I think deep down he's a bit of a savage. I think it's absolutely insane. And I don't think you would ever see that happening in any other club, in any other league in the world. No matter who the player is. Even if it was Messi playing for them, you would never give them this much power off the pitch. It doesn't make any sense. They're a good player, don't get me wrong. But what does Kylian Mbappe know about coaching? What does Kylian Mbappe know about sporting directors? What does Kylian Mbappe know about signing and sales? Unless behind the scenes, he's an absolute savant. He's an absolute boy wonder genius level of understanding the game to the extent where people were saying when he was like 12, oh my God, he's going to be an amazing manager. He's going to be an amazing sporting director. Maybe, I don't really know. But we haven't heard that coming out. That hasn't been a thing that we've heard about Mbappe. We just heard that, you know, he's a cool, humble guy behind the scenes. He's really fast and he scores loads of goals. But we've never heard anything about him being this maverick when it comes to coaching and, you know, being a sporting director and hiring and, you know, selling and, and signing off players. That is legitimately insane. But again, it could also explain why he set the club. Playing for your hometown club, a city you was born in, um, for a team that you feel like can only get better, for a club that also will most likely sack Poch if he doesn't deliver next season anyway and get whoever the best manager is available at the time. So don't be surprised if something like a Pep ends up at Man City, at PSG, long-term goal. So all these things are probably playing into it, but as a fan of football, I would have really loved to have seen him play. Really love to have seen him play in La Liga. Really love to have seen him play in any other league apart from France. Just to see him test himself and develop as a player going forward. Because I really think it would have improved him far better than staying at a club like PSG, being a flat track bully and doing what really? Putting up numbers in a league that no one really cares about. And also playing against players who aren't necessarily going to challenge you or make you evolve into the player that you need to be. And who knows? Maybe the fact that the competition is so poor in, in league uh, might attribute to why PSG always kind of falter at the final hurdle you know in the Champions League maybe playing all those good teams in succession just takes it out of the players because they're never used to playing against that level of quality or maybe it's just you know a luck thing because you know they were in the final just last year so you know one a couple of goals here and there and they've got Champions League under their belt but that's not the case but yeah I thought it was an incredibly insane deal incredibly insane situation all around but I guess for Kylian Mbappe it's absolutely congratulations to him because wow what an absolute deal he's got there what an absolute deal